Second class requirement, 1b. Explain the principles of leave no trace and tell how you practice them on a camp out or outing. This outing must be different from the one used in tenderfoot requirement 1c. The seven leave no trace principles. Plan ahead and prepare. Travel and camp on durable surfaces. Dispose of waste properly. Leave what you find. Minimize campfire impacts. Be careful with fire. Respect wildlife and be considerate of other visitors. Plan ahead and prepare. Know the regulations and special concerns for the area that you'll visit. Prepare for extreme weather, hazards, and emergencies. Schedule your trip to avoid times of high use if possible. Visit in small groups when possible. Consider splitting larger groups into smaller groups. Repackage food to minimize waste. Use a map and compass to eliminate the use of marking paint, rock cairns, or flagging. Travel and camp on durable surfaces. In popular areas, front country or back country, concentrate use on existing trails and campsites. Camp at least 200 feet from lakes and streams. Keep campsites small. Focus activity where vegetation is absent. Walk single file in the middle of the trail, even when it's wet or muddy. In pristine areas, distribute the use to prevent the creation of campsites and trails. Avoid places where impacts are just beginning. Dispose of waste properly. This principle applies to everything from litter to human waste to rinse water. Pack it in, pack it out. Inspect your campsite and rest area for trash or spilled food. Pack out all trash, leftover food, and litter. Always leave it cleaner than you found it. Deposit solid human waste in cat holes dug 6 to 8 inches deep, at least 200 feet from water, camp, and trails. Cover and disguise the cat hole when finished. Pack out toilet paper and hygiene products. To wash yourself or your dishes, carry water 200 feet away from streams or lakes, and use small amounts of biodegradable soap. Scatter strained dishwater. Leave what you find. The old saying, take only pictures, leave only footprints, is still true, although leaving fewer footprints is even better. Preserve the past. Examine, but do not touch, cultural or historical structures and artifacts. Leave rocks, plants, animals, habitats, and other natural objects as you find them. Avoid introducing or transporting non-native species. Clean boot soles kayak hauls, and bike tires between trips. Do not build structures, furniture, or dig trenches. Minimize campfire impacts. Where fires are permitted, use established fire rings, fire pans, or mound fires. Keep fires small. Use only sticks from the ground that can be broken by hand. Burn all wood and coals to ash. Put out campfires completely then scatter cool ashes. Don't bring firewood from home. This could introduce new pests and diseases. Buy it from a local store or gather it responsibly where allowed. Respect wildlife. Don't approach animals. Observe wildlife from a distance. Do not follow them. Never feed animals. Feeding wildlife damages their health, alters natural behaviors and exposes them to predators and other dangers. Protect wildlife and your food by storing rations and trash securely. Control pets at all times or leave them at home. Avoid wildlife during sensitive times, mating, nesting, raising young, or winter. Be considerate of other visitors. Treat others the way you would like to be treated is a rule that applies to the outdoors, too. Respect other visitors and protect the quality of their experience. Be courteous. Yield to others using the trail. Step on the downside of the trail when encountering horses or other pack animals. Take breaks and camp away from trails and other visitors. Let nature sound prevail. 
avoid loud voices and noises. This has been another video from Scatter Rob. Like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell for more great videos like this one.